Hi, everybody. Welcome to my class and Mr. Isaac's class. This is our very first reading lesson. I hope everybody is healthy and well and enjoying the time with their family. And I know I'm really sad that we're not doing this all together, but we just got to get through it. Um, so the way that I'm going to organize reading is I'm going to read aloud um, one of my favorite books, and this is what we were going to be reading at the end of the year anyway. It's called Dear Mr. Henshaw by Beverly Cleary. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I'm going to read aloud today a couple of chapters, the very beginning of the book. At the end of it, there's going to be a quick little writing assignment, and I want you to think about Lee, our main character here. He is like a regular fifth grader, so as I read the story to you, I want you to think about how is Lee like a regular kid that you would meet every day, um, and you're going to have to write a little bit about that. I kind of have a vision of my mind, um, and we've done this kind of graphic organizer before where it's like a person, and on each arm and each leg is a trait or a characteristic, so I want you to think about how would you describe Lee? to someone else as I read the first chapters to you, okay? All right, so here's the drawing on the inside cover. Okay, you're gonna see how all of this comes together as the story unfolds, okay? May 12th. Dear Mr. Henshaw, my teacher read your book about the dog to our class. It was funny. We licked it. Your friend, Lee Butts, boy. And you can see they're written in letters every day. December 3rd. Dear Mr. Henshaw, I'm the boy who wrote to you last year when I was in second grade. Maybe you didn't get my letter. This year I read the book. I wrote to you about called Ways to Amuse a Dog. It is the first thick book with chapters that I have read. The boy's father said city dogs were bored, so Joe could not keep the dog unless he could think up seven ways to amuse it. I have a black dog. His name is Bandit. He is a nice dog. If you answer, I get to put your letter on the bulletin board. My teacher taught me a trick about friend. The I goes before the E, so that at the end it will spell end. Keep in touch. Your friend, Lee. Lee Botts. November 13th. Dear Mr. Henshaw, I'm in fourth grade now. I made a diorama of ways to amuse a dog, the book I wrote to you about two times before. Now our teacher is making us write to authors for book week. I got your answer to, your, to my letter last week, but it was only printed. Could you write it to me in your own handwriting? I am a great enjoyer of your books. My favorite character is the in the book was Joe's dad, because he didn't get mad when Joe amused his dog by playing a tape of a lady singing, and his dog sat and howled like he was singing too. Bandit does the same thing when he hears sing singing. Your best reader, Lee Botts. So, if we think back about the very beginning, he was in second grade, and he wrote to him, and then he was in third grade, and his teacher said, write to an author, and then in fourth grade, same thing. His teacher said, write to an author. So he wrote to him again. December 2nd. I got to thinking about ways to amuse a dog. When Joe took his dog to the park and taught him to slide down the side, wouldn't some grown-up come along and say he couldn't let his dog use the side? Around here, grown-ups, who are mostly like real old with cats, get mad if dogs aren't on leashes every minute. I hate living in a mobile home park. I saw your picture on the back of the book. When I grow up, I want to be a famous book writer with a beard like you. I'm sending you my picture. It is last year's picture. My hair is longer now. With all the millions of kids in the U.S., how could you know who I am if I don't send you my picture? My, your favorite reader, Lee Botts. Enclosure. Picture of me. We are studying business letters. October 2nd. Dear Mr. Henshaw, I am in fifth grade now. You might like to know that I gave a book report on ways to amuse a dog. The class liked it. I got an A-. minus. The minus was because the teacher said I didn't stand on both feet. Sincerely, Lee Botts. Dear Mr. Henshaw, this is November 7th. 
same year, fifth grade still. I got your letter and did what you said. I read a different book by you. I read Moose on Toast. I liked it almost as much as I liked Ways to Amuse a Dog. It was really funny the way the boy's mother tried to think up ways to cook the moose meat they had in their freezer. One thousand pounds is a lot of moose. Moose burgers, moose stew, moose meatloaf, they don't sound too bad. Maybe moose mince meat pie would be okay. With all the raisins and junk, you wouldn't know you were eating moose. Cream chip moose on toast? Ugh. I don't think the boy's father should have shot the moose. But I guess there are plenty of moose up there in Alaska. Maybe they needed it for food. If, I, if my dad shot a moose, I would feed the tough parts to my dog, Bandit. Your number one fan, Lee Botts. September 20th. Dear Mr. Henshaw, this year I'm in sixth grade in a new school in a different town. Our teacher is making us do author reports to improve our writing skills. So, of course, I thought of you. Please answer the following questions. One, how many books have you written? Two, is Boyd Henshaw your real name or is it fake? Three, why do you write books for children? Four, where do you get your ideas? Five, do you have any kids? Six, what is your favorite book that you wrote? Seven, do you like to write books? Eight, what is the title of your next book? Nine, what is your favorite animal? Ten, Please give me some tips on how to write a book. This is important to me. I really want to know so I can get to be a famous author and write books exactly like yours. Please send me a list of your books that you wrote, an autograph picture, and a bookmark. I need your answer by next Friday. This is urgent. Sincerely, Lee Botts. De liver, de letter, de sooner, de better. De later, de letter, de matter. I get her. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to stop right there. I want you to think about that last letter. He's a little bit demanding, isn't he? All right, I will read back. I will read the next few pages on another day. So what I want you to do now is you're going to click on the assignment, and you're going to do a little bit of writing about how Lee Botts is like a real boy. What are the character traits that you heard, and what evidence did you hear that supports your thinking about what kind of kid this kid is? See you next time.